What's up, everybody? I want to welcome everyone back to the Babia Podcast. I'm your host, Babia, and I'm joined by my main man, Matt Marisco. How you doing? Good to see you, man. And uh, Matt Wong is always behind the cameras. He's so scared to show his face. I think he's an assassin. He's killing folks, and the feds is watching, so he don't want to show himself. But say what's up, Matt Wong. Yo, what up? Man, it's been a while since we've done this. I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I got my cup of water. You got your cup of... I don't know what you're drinking on. You're drinking on some of that good stuff? unfortunately. Ah, but we back, and we just got to keep plowing these out, man. For those of you who watch the... Either you watch it on YouTube or you listen on iTunes, we appreciate it. And for those of you that's new to this, this is the Bobby Podcast. If you have questions, or if you want to send us like topics that you want to talk about, whatever, hit us up at uh, bobbya.podcast at gmail.com. Is that right, Matt Wong? Yeah. My podcast, I don't even know the shit. <laughs> you can leave comments, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at bobbya1984. It's at Matt Wongster. Is that what it is? Yeah. And Marisco, I don't know yours. Do you? Mine's have... still under construction. It's still under construction. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm working. Okay, on we're it. gonna get there, and and we're gonna let you guys know the schedule for these. What we try to do is put one out on the first and the fifteenth of each month. We trying to get it together. We've been struggling. You know, I've been lazy. Haven't been doing my part to upload them. So Marisco's gonna take. Really he's gonna take too. over that job for me. But the first and the fifteenth of each month, you should you should be getting a podcast from us. So let's open this up. Today's topic is going to be binge watching versus week to week. Now, this is this is how I got on this situation or this whole particular thing. When when I was in college, I didn't have a lot of time to watch any TV. I was either I was either at work or I was at school or I was doing an internship. So I missed out on a lot of TV. I've missed out on 24, Lost, uh, Hell, Shield, whatever was out during that time. I didn't do. I'm telling you, I didn't get home to about midnight. Then when I started working with Matt Wong at Adelman Productions, I was working from 4 to midnight, and I would have to get home, do my homework, and then I had to go to sleep, get up, and go to work, or go to school at 8 in the morning. Yeah. So I didn't watch any TV. So, I, hey, when I graduated, I started talking to Matt about different shows. And Matt, what was the first show we talked about? Was it was it Lost? Was Lost the first one? Yeah. We started talking about Lost, and I was like, mm, that sounds like shit. Oh, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Lost, 24... Hannibal, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. We're gonna be talking about a whole lot of those shows, pretty much all those shows. So, spoiler alert, we're gonna be talking about them. But I missed out on a lot of that stuff. And what did I have to do? I had to get either, either. Well, at that time, I didn't have Netflix or Amazon or anything like that. I was just buying them on Blu-ray, whole seasons, and watching them episode after episode after episode to catch up. Now, I like doing it that way. I, I'm not really a big fan of watching week by week. I, I don't really? know if that's just. I don't know if that's just. I don't know if everyone feels like that, but I, I do enjoy that. It has its pros and its cons, and I think we sh- we should be able to get into that throughout this discussion. But I'm 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 kind of a fan of the binge watching, even though it has its cons. What about where where do you stand? With uh, no, that? I'm for binge watching. I think I think for me it's two things. One, I, I just don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have yeah. to wait on a weekly basis to, I mean, especially like how each episode, like the last five minutes, usually it's like, God damn, why does this have to end right now? Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to start the next episode right away. Right away. Uh, I think like the second thing is like, the, at least the two shows I mainly watch, Game of Thrones and Walking Dead, like they feel like movies. That'd be like turning a movie off mm-hmm. after an hour and then wait another week to like to, to watch. And then it is a long week. It's a long week to me. It is a long week. It's the same. It's the same length, but it seems like God, I cannot get there. I'm, 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 you know, we grew up. We're all about the same age. We grew up on week to week. We had no choice, like you said. Right. And I think I'm just kind of ingrained. You know, like when I binge watch, I feel like I don't get the same experience. Like for you, remember when Lost? You knew like certain parts of it, but you because you watch it in one chunk, but you might have forgotten certain things. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it's one long ass, and 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 that's where some of the cons come into the into play. That that's what I was saying. Like I enjoy doing watching stuff, been watching, and for the most part, it's wonderful when you're enjoying it either with someone else or you're doing it by yourself. But here's the problem with some of this stuff: where I was watching Lost, and for the most part, I would have to come up to Matt, and go, "Yo, this just happened in season four, blah blah blah," and then he has to sit and think back to season four because I'm by myself on this, trying to talk to him about it. So he's now trying to, you know, think about something that happened, what, two, three years ago. Right. But conversely, like, you know, now it's been like four years or whatever. You probably don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Dude, I'm in, I'm in season three of Scandal. Spoiler alert. I'm in season three of Scandal, and 
I couldn't tell you half the shit that happened in season one, or let alone Game of Thrones for sure. Yeah. I told you the other day, either it's you or somebody else, I'll remember three things from season one of Game of Thrones. But, but, but you watched that all in like a weekend or whatever. Dude, right? I, watched, like, I watched, how many episodes was, is, like was 10. it? Was it 10? I watched all 10 episodes on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, that. I went through, I watched the first episode at work with Sean Rivers. Shout out to my man, Sean Rivers, for giving me his HBO Go account. I love you to death. But I watched. That first episode, he told me, because I was just like, oh, this sounds stupid. It's about, you know, mythical this and fairy tale type yeah, drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, when he explained that shit to me, I was like, I don't watch no Game of Thrones. That sounds stupid. And working at IGN, that's another part why I had to binge watch because or stay up to date on stuff because no we, we get in the office and it'd be, <clears throat> you know, someone talking to another person 10 feet away from us and you didn't hurt the whole plot of something, and you like spoiler alert. And, you and know? now, and now with yeah. the internet, right? The front page of every single right. site is something happened. Right, like that's true. Spoiler when you saw- hell, we do stuff at IGN where we we do weekly videos of of a Walking Dead, right, Game right, of Thrones, right, right. Recaps and it. and it sucks because I'm like the last line of defense where I'm like I'm uploading these videos and I have to watch some of it to make sure you know it's been edited <laughs> correctly. And sometimes I'm like I don't want to watch this because. Mm-hmm. It's going to mess things up for me. And so, as I'm saying, you got to stay up to date with some of this stuff. And if you're not up to date, you got to go back and find it and you have to binge watch it so to catch up. My argument for week to week, though, is also like every week is an event, right? Because mm-hmm. it feels special. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. When, you binge, when you binge watch, you know, sometimes you look at the Netflix thumbnail or the summary. I try not to even right? read that stuff, man. I remember, was it 24 where you were like, dude, it's spoiled. Every time. Yeah, because you're looking at the episode. You can't help it. You have to look at the episode. And the thumb, and the thumb too. <laughs> I'm watching Scandal, and, and one of the thumbs, you like, you see one of the prominent characters holding the gun, pointing at someone, and you're like, why did you have to use that thumb? Yeah. So now I'm expecting, and, and here's, this is, so this is the thing where I'm pissed. So me and my wife. Our new show right now, since since she's had the baby and we were able to like to get the baby down and Bobby down for the night, we're sitting and we're watching Scandal. And we binge watch season one and two, knocking them out. And the thing is, season three just ended. And people that she works with know watch it. And my wife's one of them cats, she'll talk to you about it and get the information beforehand. And then she'll come talk. I was like, don't tell me nothing. I want to catch up. And, my girlfriend and now I'm pissed because... We're in the beginning of the season three. Just the other day, I took my son to get his haircut, and his barber actually watches a lot of the same shows I watch. So he's like, "Yo, man, yo, so are you caught up with Scandal? Did you see when the yo did the dad did, is the dad behind the killing the black dude?" I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, oh. hold on, I'm not that far." He's like, "Oh my bad." So now that happened, and then last night we was reading TMZ how they break all the news. They talking about a prominent character that. That's no longer part of the show and won't be there in season four. So I pieced it together and was like, oh, so it's that character that we're talking about. So now I'm almost to the point where I don't, wanna, I don't really want to watch the show because I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so, so, that's, that's, so, so for me, that's one of the cons where it's like, if you're not caught up, you need to hurry up and get there or else someone's going to. So it's like, give me even, th- I tell you this, I had to buy season three of Scandal because it's not available on Netflix. What I had to buy it. Bucks, 40 bucks, I man. had to buy it because I couldn't wait. So I'm like, I got. I need, so you can watch on abc.com or Hulu. abc.com it, it stopped on f- episode 14 a- episode 14 is where it starts you can watch from 14 to 18 Hulu Plus I activated my 7 day trial I'm glad I'm bringing this up because I need to deactivate before they charge me 14, episode 14 and up is where it starts so I'm like Amazon Prime is the only thing that has it but you have to pay for it and I'm like I cannot wait but I wanted I wanted it that much so we can go through it's, it's yeah. taking over my life dude <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking forty bucks, and this is what they get you. Oh, Amazon Prime it says one ninety nine per episode. You click on it, it's like to watch it in HD. It's two nine. It's like why didn't you just tell me that first? Right, right, why didn't you just right. tell me that first? <laughs> now you tell me I gotta pay two ninety nine episode. I added it up. It's like fifty some bucks. I'm like, let me just go ahead and buy right. the season. When, you know, it's it's, it's stuff yeah. like that where when, it's like when you, if you waited for Blu Ray, it'd be like what thirty bucks. Yeah, but $30, still, 25. I wanted to get it out the way. Even even before somebody spoiled it for me, I was like, we gotta watch it because. My, I know my wife. She wants to know. She can't wait. She even tells me, give me the password. I watch it without you, and then I watch it with you. <laughs> have you seen that Netflix commercial? I have. Right? Where they're the, the wife. they, they watching it, and she's like, whoa. Did that just... He, he's like, I know you already watched it. Yeah. She's like, oh, honey. I, you know, that's what I'm saying. She, my wife wants to do that because she wants to keep up with it. And and, and and that's what I'm saying. See, it has its pros and its cons, but it's like you binge watching. You say, it's like one of us go to work, and another one stay home sick. I gotta worry if she gonna pass me up. Week to week, right? Yeah, I know. All right, right. 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 You, you, you 
you make it into sign, you make it like a, an event, like you know. I don't. I but see, I, I don't want to dedicate. I don't want to have to tell myself, right, I have to be at the house at seven o'clock. Right, right. Sunday. It's a different. That, World now where you can DVR it, you can watch it on. Yeah. Oh, I love DVR. I love DVR, but I think they they even talking about a problem because I love like right now I'm watching Arrow, Agents of Shield, and what I tend to do, and I, I record all these shows. Most for the most part, I am at home. I don't, I just don't watch them because I don't want to watch the commercials. And let's talk about. Yeah. Have you guys seen Captain America? Winter Soldier. Yeah. 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 So let's talk about that. So the experience of week to week, pro. Because if you watch Captain America, then the next week you watch Marvel's... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. Whereas if you binge watch it, you might have maybe missed it. Or, you know, like it's a delayed reaction because it's almost like after you watch that movie, they expect you to watch. I, I was even... That was one of the main things for me. I, I kept going, holy shit, I need to go watch Captain America, America. America before I watch this next episode. Of like, I was like, how, how the hell are they doing this to me? Like, yeah. you're <laughs> forcing me to go watch. Like, if I'm, I mean, and the show's not even that good, but... I'm 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 still watching it, but I'm like, damn, I can't continue watching it until I see Captain America. So you you have to do week by week. But yeah, the week by week experience gives you that point where I think for me, when you binge watch, it's like okay, you're getting overwhelmed by like all these emotions and things. I think sometimes you just need that shit. Game of Thrones, we all caught up, right? Are you caught up? Yeah, yeah. You caught up. Yeah. When the red wedding happened, I watched that. At the time, like on HBO Go, you when they announced, I to. watched it and do my heart. I, I I remember exactly what was happening. I was sitting there playing with Bobby. I was actually trying to get him to like you know I was holding him, trying to put him to sleep. And the moment I started noticing, okay, something's not right. Too much shit's happening. People were kind of leaving, doors getting closed. I'm like, something's not right. And the moment that they start stabbing the girl in the stomach, I was like, you gotta go. I'm like, what the like? <laughs> after and, everything and then, happened, and then like the mama start like the last thing you and, see, and it and it goes to black, and it just. Did we say spoiler alert already? We said spoiler alert, right? <laughs> it's not. Okay. <laughs> but when it gets went to black, no music, it just, the credits were, my heart, like, was beating fat. I mean, everybody. And that's yeah. that was something, I honestly think you had to watch that happen. Like, that had to happen because the internet blew up. We'll say the same Even way. Twitter. Twitter blew up. I, I stay off Twitter Sunday nights for all my shows because, oh, no, I don't. Because I, I actually, uh, I'm, actually, I'm one of the ones that's, now. I'm tweeting <laughs> shit. <laughs> but it's like, you gotta, you gotta stay up on it. Sometimes you can't, like, but you, you had to binge watch to catch up to that part, right? I binge watched the first two seasons. I watched them all like in one sitting. See that that's, season one that's too. When, when I think it gets fun though, right? Because so the pros and cons, right? The pro of binge watching is when you were trying to catch up on Lost, right? Mm-hmm. It was fun for you, right? Because right. you got into it. Whereas like there was a point in Lost where they had like a four month break. That was, for, that was for season four, right? When they got locked, they found the other island. That's season three. Season yeah, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember and. And I remember I told you, I was like, oh yeah, there's a writer's strike and they had four or five months off. You're like, I couldn't wait. I wouldn't have been able to make yeah. it. And, 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 and so here's another thing that's that's pissing me off right now. For Arrow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., a lot of these, Walking Dead, a lot of these shows, I'm not liking any, these hiatus where they're taking these these breaks. Breaking Bad, dude, it was a whole year. That was, it almost killed me. Yeah, It yeah. almost killed and me. They're doing that with Mad Men again. Like I'm gonna watch only, that show, so I don't care. Fuck they're Batman. only showing like it just sucks, right? Because there's only like six or seven episodes for Bad, Breaking Bad, right? Mm-hmm. And then you had to wait a whole year until the set part two. See, I don't, I don't understand what's happening with these situations. Are, are they going back and making rewrites for stuff like? No, for, no, 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 no. It's all money, man. It's all money. That'd be my guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah see, I don't like that. Now that's the part where, as watching it week to week, where I would get pissed, and I am pissed because Arrow. I'm heavily in the Arrow right now. Right. But yet Arrow is taking. Like, I don't think they're taking no more breaks, but it's like, what the fuck, man? Like, something big happens, and it's like, two weeks from now. Like, wait, what? It's like, there's so no that's, two weeks from that's, now. That's also money, too. So, difference, right? Breaking Bad was because they wanted to split into two years, so then AMC can have, you know, two years of riches, right? Mm-hmm. They can be two years of Emmys, two years of, like, Blu-ray releases, and then, like, a, right? With Arrow, it's different because they have, like, something like 24 episodes per year. Mm-hmm. But there's like over like what six months or like Man, eight months. Give me back in the day when I did watch TV. God damn it, the shows just aired week after week after week. The cliffhanger season finale came, and you had to wait to next September to watch. I was good with that. Yeah, yeah. But now for me, it seems like it pulls me out. That's why when you do binge watch, you say fuck. I didn't have to go through that. Right, I just watched all of them through. Yeah. yeah. And I was good. And but when you pick up steam, right? Like you just like next, next, next. Right. Next. Like yeah, yeah. Then oh, tell me how bad it is though when you do finish like that <laughs> last. Like like this happened to me when uh so I finally caught up on Lost, one season one through five, knocked that out, and I'm like okay, we're season six. And it's like oh, season six not coming for another three months. It's like wait what? Yeah. 
No, we're we're like you know we're ready. That's the thing. When you catch up, you're like I'm ready. Just like I did with Scandal. I called up and was like, I need season three. And I think the huge difference between binge watching and week to week is you can quit on a show, right? Week mm-hmm. to week, you're like, I right, screw it. But binge watching, you can physically see how far you have left. Maybe you're like you go, all right, maybe I'll just kind of right. You'll watch it even if it's like 24, the later seasons. You gotta admit, Bobby. I start yeah. I start going okay, man. I I feel like I'm right knees because right, they right, start right. getting to a part where it's like. Who the hell is the running background on tracks on people to but, get to but into you this place? Through it because you saw there was only like nine seasons mm-hmm. or whatever, so you're like, all right. You shit, when you make it to seven, set to the seventh season, you're just like, well, hell, I might as well. Fit. The only thing I, I only show I stopped on is Sopranos. I've heard so much about that growing up, how great the Sopranos were. So I was like, you know what? I gotta watch this show. I'm like in season three right now, and I'm just like, I can't do it. This shit yeah. sucks to me. Yeah. The Wire. Is way better than The Sopranos. It was more intricate, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, The Sopranos. He watched The Sopranos. I watched The Sopranos, yeah. Did you finish it? I, I I started. I don't remember what season I came in on, but my buddy. Oh, she didn't start it. from the beginning. I no. think it was a long hiatus on that one too. Really? Like a year or two. So they they wanted. To, oh, like, they did split one of the seasons. It's like season a, season six A and season six B or something hiatus. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that show, man. That show <laughs> sucks. And I you know, love that type of stuff. No, I well, again, The Wire. I thought was better. Yeah, yeah. Because it just. It was like it was yeah. intricate, complex. It was, just seeing it from different angles, what's happening in the it city. More, it was more like I guess you can relate with it, right? Yeah. A little more. Yeah, so especially like, with the dudes from season four with the kids. Like yeah, yeah, that yeah. was cool. The kids, and then like even just the situation with uh, what's his face, um, you know, the dude from Pacific Rim. Uh, uh, gosh. Oh, Idris Elba. No, yes. no, no. Wait, is that he, he, no, he, it's not. It's Springer. Yeah. Why come? Is he? What is his name? Oh, is, is, is it, I thought it was Idris. It's no, not his actor's name. The black who's, the, dude? Who's, who's the character name? Stringer Bell. Stringer but, his name, but his name is Idris. Idris. Al, Al, Idris Alba. Okay, yeah. okay. For some reason, I thought I was saying Jessica Alba. That's why I was like, wait, <laughs> that's not right. It is Idris, right? But his story, right? Like how I he, thought that was a brother, man. Right, he right. threw me off when he did the the commercial for the for the NBA All Star, and he start, and, he, and he had that that uh, that accent mm-hmm. from he from the UK, right? Yep. Yeah. Man, he threw me off. I think I think there was a director <clears throat> too. He said like, "Oh man, that that American actor does a really good British accent." He's like, "No, like someone's he like, threw no, me he, off, man. He's a British dude." Dude, yeah, these yeah. these British guys and Australian guys, man, they taking well, over the, the, the shows. Wire in general, right? McNulty was a British dude. Hell, yeah, Walking Dead got Rick's character. Rick's is is he Australian dude. or British? Yeah, 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 yeah. These guys, they start talking on these different. Like I watch them <laughs> on like the shows after. I go, wait, wait why Rick sound like that? <laughs> like. These guys, these people are amazing. Maggie, yeah. the girl that plays Maggie, is like Australian or British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, they're taking over. These stage cat. We didn't went from binge watching to the cat, uh, <laughs> to, the, to the character, but uh, yeah, man, they taking over. Mm-hmm. They are, but yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I, I, I guess my point was like Stringer Bell's story, or like the dude um, in Breaking Bad who owned like the chicken. Uh, oh, I know you're talking about Gus Gustavo. Like, yes, like they were just in a way. Trying to make a business, they they were interested in business, right? Yeah. And they unfortunately chose the wrong business, mm-hmm. right? Your drugs, right? Like, but but you can relate with them because they're just trying to make it, right? Like when Stringer Bell went back and he took classes, and he was everything. going to school. Yeah. He was trying to be, he was trying to be like a like one of them, like he wanted he wanted to be an industry and everything, right. like he wanted just, it to be big money. So many only these corners is one thing, but when you like actually taken over and again that's right it's like the rags to riches story you can relate better to that whereas i enjoy the sopranos because i love like goodfellas and and like i, I love that's why i like watching uh boardwalk empire because i love like especially that it's kind of got a loose kind of you know thing with like al capone or i love that stuff so i was thinking the sopranos is gonna be great but i'm watching it and all the way up to season three i'm just like i can't do this no yeah. more and you just stop but at least I got the chance to go back and just binge watch one, two, three, and then just go, you know, forget this. I'm not cool with it. Mm-hmm. Like, whereas if you watch week by week, you're invested in it. You're like, I said, that's what I think. When you watch week by week, I feel like you put some, and that's what I was telling my wife, where with Scandal, how some of that stuff was spoiled. I was like, I would hate to have been watching this week by week and somebody spoils it for me. And it's like, I've invested this time. She, she, with, with the moms when she chewed out of the... Right, because she, you know? she tell, my wife tells me, she's like, why do you care? I say, she's like, it's just a show. Yeah, it's a show that I'm investing week by week into. That That's why you care. Because I was spoiled on that one. Like, I watched it kind of, but when like when they, they talked about the mom chewing out of the... Remember? On what? On Scandal. I, ain't, I don't even think I got that far. See how I'm saying? This you is, haven't gotten that far? I'm, is this season three? No, season... Two. Oh, okay, wasn't season that, two. Wasn't that the cliffhanger? She was like, she was like handcuffed, 
And she had to get her the handcuffs. You remember that? Nah, that's season three. That's, that's, like, season, that's three? like season three to me. I ain't nobody handcuffs. You yeah. see what I'm saying? You see this? <laughs> it just falling for you. This is what I'm talking about right there. You see, it's it's just hard, man. That's why binge watching, you have to do it to catch up. And and whereas, like, basically, if it's something you just join it on, don't talk. One of my tips would be don't talk to nobody about it. If you're watching something you're trying to catch up, do not talk to nobody I mean, I about it. I spoiled Lost a few times for you, and because you were talking when you're going through it, I think I spoiled. I, I, I think you yeah. and, and the wire too, because you kept every day you kept going. I'm on season three now. <laughs> not hit. Check this out. Game of Thrones, the the Joffrey thing, that was spoiled for me a year ago. Was it really a year ago? Who who? My sister. We was talking uh, about. I was, t- I was I was just telling her, yeah, like I'm watching. Like, like I'm watching Game of Thrones. Like I'm really into this show. She's like, what do you think about when Joffrey get, I killed? I'm like. <laughs> They wait, there yet. Right, wait, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, when he when he died. And I was like, come on. I was so mad about uh, that. Or even Walking Dead. I was like, I can't even get into that. <laughs> I want to ruin it. For, see, yeah, but it's, no, di- like, but, no, but it's so different. Funny. It's different. But like, because I read the comics. I read the comics. I'm not going to spoil nothing. But I read the comics. And it's even crazy where we did, I think, San Diego Comic Con last year. I'm surprised you didn't get spoiled. Because the guy who spoiled it is the writer. He spoiled something for me as I'm reading the books. And I'm like... What the fuck, man? Like, and it was just something because I was putting up the video. I didn't have no warning. You know, I didn't start watching the shows until later, though, so that's probably why I didn't. Pick okay, up on but it. yeah, it's it's just stuff like that where I think just in our industry, if you're not caught up with stuff, it, it, it's gonna spoil you. Like, like the stuff in Walking Dead, I'm seeing, and I'm like, please don't let this follow the book because I don't want that part to happen. And that's why I like that they do change it up enough. Whereas if the thing that I read. Doesn't happen. I tell you, okay. So what? It's not gonna happen in the show. The you know, Game of Thrones, though, right? The books aren't finished yet, and the seasons are going fast, right? Mm-hmm. So what's gonna happen? Right? Are they gonna just do their own thing? Like I know that the author actually told the creators of the show how it's, how he wants it to end. Oh really? Yeah, but he hasn't written it yet, right? He has like two more books left. How so, far behind are they from the show and the books? I think they they're about to. They're, we moving pretty fast. Season four or five right now. We in season. F- Four? four right? I think four, yeah. And I think they're only signed on for seven seasons because there's only seven. I think there's only seven books, right? Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I mean he hasn't even wrote the books yet. He hasn't written the last two. I think the the, the second. Oh, they putting two. pressure on him. They got to yeah. start speeding up. Well, we did a new story in that. They they might make one of those books or last. They go no. They go split them in half for yeah. the seasons. Well, it's right one now, be right one. Now, but one might be a, a feature like film. Right, right, right. But right now, season four is like half of book three. Oh, okay, so then the other half is. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. So when the Joffrey thing happened, it was just like, it, it's and like. I think, well, I think that happened like 14 years. Like the books was written like early 2000s, so it's like really old. Yeah, but for me, that's what I'm saying. Like I wasn't caught up, in, and, and and it's just one of the things you just gotta be careful when you're talking to people. That's why I say do not talk to people about shows that you're into because they get so excited. And and I do a damn good job. Like if I if I'm excited about something, I keep I actually I actually. Care enough to go, okay, I know Moresco's watching the show and he's not caught up. So I, I tend like to go like, bro. Like I always ask people, before I talk about something, I go, do you watch this show? Blah, 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 blah. Like I do that. I just give you the courtesy. So if you be like, no, I'm not caught up yet. I go, okay, I'm not going to talk about it. But for the most part at IGN, man, you're walking around corners, folks talking about it. and Or, or they come over and get in a group next to you and it's like, I have not seen that yet. Yeah. You know, so. But what, yeah. So what do you, well, here's a question. If, say like, there's a there's a show that's really hot and you want to see it, but it's still in the middle of its run. Would you wait until it's done? Like Game of Thrones. Say you weren't into it, but you you want to get into it. Would you risk like going week to week by by just binge watching it, or would you wait until seasons like it's all out? Okay. Because like um, I have I have friends who actually waited for Breaking Bad to finish before they started the whole thing. The whole thing because they didn't want it. They were like that's because they came in late though, right? Right. They uh-huh. came in late, but they didn't even watch it. They just heard about it and they're like, "Oh, this is a really good show." But by then, they were like at season five or whatever, mm-hmm. and they just waited. Would you do that? Would you wait if it's at the end of a show or just in general? Like, all right, here, here, here's an example: True True Detectives. I have not seen True Detectives, and people right. keep telling me but, about it. But that's different though because that's also an anthology, so every year is different. Mm. You can, okay, you can, you can binge watch. The season that just went by, because okay. it's, it's own thing. Yeah, I'm talking like like right now, Arrow. Not knowing when it's gonna like it's, in, it's only the second season. Mm-hmm. Would you wait until it's done to watch it? Oh, yeah. you, you're always gonna risk it. Right? You're I'm, always gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like I say in our industry where we're working at. 
I, w- I, I, I would have to try to go watch it and not tell anybody about it because... And knowing that you would have to wait, wait week to week instead of going, you know what, like, I'm just going to wait until... It I mean, I, I even did that with Lost. I, I, I said, you know what, you guys were like, yeah, because season six... You was like, season five just ended. So, you know, season six is last season. So I said, you know what, I'm going to catch up. And I did that. I caught up before season six mm-hmm. happened. And I watched episode by episode of season six with everyone else just so I could be a part of this phenomenon because <laughs> Lost was the big shit. And I, I, and I was like, yo, I got to watch this last season with everybody. And I did. And for the most part, it was season six was trash to me. But we still had a lot of discussions where we were going to lunch because we said, like, okay, we can't talk every, about it often. We had to go to lunch and talk about it. That's what I loved it. about Week to Week too, right? Is, again, not I just a, see that. Right, not just, it's not just about like an event, but it's almost like water cooler talk. talk right? The day after, you want to talk to someone, right? You always want to like, you know, talk about it, right? And if you're binge watching, you're just kind of like, I want to tell someone. Right, and then right. You can't because right. either it's old or, you know. Whatever. It was talked about 10 years ago yeah, with somebody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a good thing to get off my chest. I'm happy I was able to do this because I'm, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad about Scandal. And uh, Scandal's a pretty good show, but I feel like it's just been ruined for me. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to do this talk. Maresco, you didn't have much to say because you're not really a TV guy. You're an outdoorsy person. I only person. watch two shows, You man. only watch Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this discussion. You know, Hit us up in the comment section if you're uh, watching this on uh, YouTube. Kind of tell us what your favorite shows are and what you like to binge watch. Or if you do like, you know, what's your pros and cons between binge watching and week to week. But uh, if you have any questions, tips, send them to bobbia.podcast at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter at Bobby1984. Yours is under construction. construction. And it's uh, at Matt Wonkster for you, right? Yes, sir. And um, we just appreciate it. First and the 15th, you should be expecting the podcast. But uh, that's it for this one, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening on iTunes. And uh, peace and love. <laughs>